Affinity actually has a QR code tool, and this is perfect if you are going to be adding, well, QR codes to your work. Maybe it's a poster or a business card. And what this enables us to do, if we go and select it here, is click and drag. Now I'm going to, oh, we don't have to hold shift. We can distort it, but that that's pretty useless. So we'll, we'll leave it undistorted. That's a good idea. And at the minute, it's massively chunky. So we're going to have to fix that. That's not really a QR code. Shift X to swap the fill and the stroke. There we go. In fact, let's get rid of the stroke. So we just want a solid fill color. Now at the moment, this is a QR code for Affinity's website. But what we can do with this selected is go up here and we can click, we can change the type. So you can link to other things. It could be a WhatsApp, an email, whatever you like, but we'll keep it to URL and we're going to change this. Sorry, Affinity. And as you can see, I'm deleting bits and it's changing in real time, which is flipping cool. Let's go www. Does anyone actually use that anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll go dansky.com and click OK. And apparently that is a dansky.com QR code. Shall I test it? I probably should. And there you go. Now you can go to my website and you can join our Discord community, which is linked on the homepage. And you can also now make working QR codes. It's simple and I love it.